The health of the public has truly benefited from OCT. Uh, we now can see disease, catch disease at an earlier state where it is more manageable and catch disease before it has done irreparable damage. How is it that looking into our eyes could help doctors diagnose and treat diseases like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's? The promise lies in a technology called Optical Coherence Tomography, or OCT. First developed more than 25 years ago, OCT has revolutionized how doctors diagnose and treat eye disease. Much like ultrasound lets us see a baby developing in the womb, OCT allows doctors to see deep into the structure of our eyes. Using OCT, doctors have been able to save millions of people from the effects of some of our most debilitating eye diseases. OCT angiography is important because the leading causes of blindness, which are uh, age-related macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and glaucoma, are all uh, related to abnormal circulation in the eye. And while OCT has already brought us incredible medical advances, researchers continue to push the limits of the technology. One new version that has doctors especially excited is called OCT angiography. The earliest OCT systems took two-dimensional cross-section pictures of our eyes. Later versions showed full three-dimensional images. OCT angiography takes it to the next level, essentially creating videos of what's happening in the blood vessels at the back of our eyes. So then I can see the movement of the blood inside of the vessel. So this is amazing, this is fantastic. That's OCT angiography. And so by following how that circulation changes, seeing exactly where and when it gets worse, doctors are able to diagnose and treat these diseases earlier and earlier. OCT angiography has also allowed doctors to see, for the first time, some of the tiniest vessels in our eyes, another major step toward keeping our vision as healthy as possible for as long as possible. We could never see these blood vessels, but with the new generation OCT angiography instruments, we can follow these blood vessels. So now we can follow patients, we can see when those blood vessels start to disappear, and we can come up with treatments to help preserve those blood vessels. And it turns out that this increasingly detailed view into our eyes might also help doctors better understand diseases like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, and Alzheimer's. This possibility stems from the relationship between our eyes and our brains. Part of the eye, the retina, actually is brain. And because of the connection between uh, the main part of the brain and the retina, um, we're able to measure diseases that affect the central nervous system by imaging the eye with OCT. There are studies underway to know whether, in fact, in addition to brain tissue, uh, those conditions affect the retina and can show up in the structures of the retina. So I think the big advantage for being able to detect these diseases in the eye um, is the uh, non-invasive, rapid, and low-cost uh, detection uh, of these pathologies. These qualities could make OCT an appealing alternative to more expensive and intensive brain imaging technologies such as MRI and CAT scan. Its ease of use would give researchers a powerful and efficient tool to use as they work to unravel the mysteries of multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. So OCT and OCT angiography will be very helpful not only to study the development of the disease but mainly to study the first uh, treatments that will be able to stop this disease. Because we'll be able to see directly in the eye uh, effect of new treatments. So I think this is not science fiction, it's the near future. It's, it's, it's beautiful. And so, more than two decades after its invention, OCT continues to contribute to new medical frontiers. But for all its advances thus far, there is still more to come. OCT is showing promise in detecting heart disease, colon cancer, skin cancer, and a growing list of other diseases. If you look back on the past 25 years and you look at the incredible technology 
and the commercialization and the impact on, on mankind in terms of quality of life and reducing pain and suffering, that's, that's a tremendous accomplishment. As I look forward, I see more than twice that amount. I think the opportunity for future impact is still incredibly promising looking forward.